Just a pilot in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So I wanted to share with you a kind of a, a ironic sort of disaster that I had on a recent trip up to um, Sulphur Spring, I guess it is, Sulphur Spring, Texas, up to um, Solar World, Solar something. I'll put it up on screen, I can't remember the name of it. But I was going, ironically, to pick up solar panels. And um, I got the solar panels, I got them strapped in, everything was looking good, it was strapped in beautifully and um it's a long trip obviously so i was trying to get home fast so i don't typically drive this truck super fast like but you know it was a 75 zone or maybe an 80 even i think it was an 80 zone actually so i was going a little bit over i was doing like 88 maybe around 90 and then i hear a, a boom on the top of the car actually i didn't know it was on the top of the car at first i just heard like a the best way to describe it for anyone that knows what that sound sounds like it sounds like when you're inside your car with the windows rolled up and there's a sonic boom on the outside of the car for so for anybody who lives in an area where you've you've heard sonic booms it sounded like a sonic boom which had me like it didn't sound like it was coming from the car at first so i was i slowed down i looked around i was like what was that it's like something you know i was i was i was scared i was on edge i was clutching so then i slowed down i pulled over and then i heard some more banging on the top so then I quickly pulled over to the side of the road, figured out what happened, and uh, the best solution that I could come with, up with was to take one of the panels and just bring it into the car, like so, and um, then I was able to roll up the window most of the way and be on my way. Uh, so it wasn't that much of a disaster in a sense. Uh, the other panel did start coming up at one point and I had to go and remount it, but... Uh, it wasn't the end of the world uh they're all tied together they really can't like leave the car like they can't fly off there, there was really no risk of them flying off completely but it did suck um now now i have to say it it was my fault and the reason for that is i haven't checked them in a very long time i don't check i they've been up for i don't know how long it's been it's been quite a while um i made a video when i first did it and I thought they were good and I just I, I, I stopped checking on them so there could have been a little piece that wasn't sealed correctly or something could have been anything but just it allowed a little bit of air in there and then that allowed a little bit of more air and a little bit of more and and you know with me going almost 90 miles an hour it just led to the the catastrophic failure of my um, glue tape job so Although I'm going to be taking it off and I'm not going to put this exact setup back on, I'm not against it per se. So if anyone else wanted to do the same thing, I don't think it's that bad. I think the main thing that I would I would say, the, the takeaway, is just look at your aerodynamics. I, I wanted to put too much on the top of this car. So you can see, I wanted to put a lot up here. I wanted to get as much as I could. And obviously, this panel is supposed to go like this. So I wanted to get as much of it as I could up here. And that led me to getting very close to the top of the car. And you can see that's kind of where the aerodynamic point is. So this point in the car gets subjected to an insane amount of, of wind. And um, if you don't have your mounting system on point, it's gonna be a problem. And I think just the, the gap here that I have, that I had to work with, was just not enough. Now that's not even something I even really gave too much thought. I thought the gap would be enough, but no, you would want an actually a bigger gap if you wanted to do this. Um, either that or do it, do just like one right here would have been fine. Like one in the middle, even a larger one, maybe if you went a, a, with a 150 watt panel or something, that would be fine. But just one would be fine. The, the 300, it it's okay if you wanna, if you have a good setup for it, this was okay, it just would have, yeah, it, it, it was, I guess it wasn't okay. I guess it was, it was, it was not, um, not recommended, but it did work for a while until it didn't. And again, here are the solar panels. These are gonna be a different project. As you can see, still got all my stuff in there, but this was a great mounting setup. This worked at over 90 miles an hour, but 
this up there didn't work. Ironic, I mean, how could that even happen? Going to get solar panels, my solar panels fall off my truck. Crazy. So, obviously in the next one, I'm going to be taking them off, doing some goo gone or whatever. So, if anyone can give me suggestions on how to, um, how to remove all the glue and goo on there, I'm kind of dreading it. I don't know if it's, if there's like a, if goo gone is the best chemical or if there's something else, maybe a little heat, I don't know. Um, but I want to get it all off, clean the top, and see what it looks like, and then um, then go from there on um, on what I'm going to do. I just need to make sure I turn on the car now every couple days if it's not getting power from the solar. Obviously, it is at the moment because they're still working. But when I pull them off, they're not. Maybe I'll try to um, at the end. I'll try to get one back on there. I don't know. I'll do something. But that's it for now. Just wanted to share that that um, very uh, depressing revelation. And on that note, thanks for watching. Peace. Just a pilot in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Weed is engaged in the pavement. Rubber escorts like I'm seeking arrangements. Push the gas, escalate the gauges, escalate hits on a cam girl's